Hi everyone, join me today for a daily Qigong practice. This routine is designed to help you get moving, lift up your mood, and give you that natural boost of energy. But before we begin, if you want to support the channel, enjoy longer routines, or meet like-minded people in weekly Zoom classes, consider joining my membership site. You can find more information in the description below. Go ahead and get ready, and let's begin today's practice. We begin in a standing position with your feet firmly planted on the ground. Unlock your knees, relax your hips, then bring your tailbone forward and lengthen down to relax and open your lower back. Try to keep this position for the entire duration of the session. Continue up your spine, keep it nice and long. Shoulders relaxed, a little bit of space under the armpits, and then bring your chin in to lengthen through the back of the neck and mentally extend upwards through the crown of your head. Take a moment to quickly scan your body. Notice how you feel today. Good. And we're going to Begin with a twist and turn exercise. This exercise helps to relax the muscles, open the joints, get the fluids and the blood moving. Keep your feet firm on the ground. You have a slight bend in your knees, your lower back relaxed. Your tailbone is pointing downward. But at the same time, feeling yourself elongating through your spine, through the back of the neck, and all the way up to the sky. And let's take a couple of breaths to bring our mind into the body. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale, nose, mouth. If you need to relax, you can make your exhalation a little bit longer. Otherwise, keep them even. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing your face to soften. Allow your neck and shoulders to relax. Allow your lower back and your hips to relax. Continue at your own pace. Drawing more and more attention into your body. Simply becoming aware of your breath. Exhale, last one here. Good, slow it down. Already you might notice a shift in how you feel physically, mentally. We're gonna go and stretch upwards a couple of times. Slowly coming up on your toes, opening the entire body. Release, slowly coming back down and feel the relaxation traveling through your body. We go again, open up, feel your chest expand, the ribcage broaden a little bit, lifting all the way towards the sky. Come back down. Keeping your spine straight, your muscles relaxed, your joints open. We go again. Feel free to stay on the ground if you need more grounding, if you want to stay a little bit more relaxed. Always listen to your body, what it needs right now. And one more time. 
all the way to the top. Feeling yourself lengthening, feeling yourself a little bit taller. Relax, bring in that softness and comfort through your body, all the way down to your feet. Very good. Go ahead and quickly rub your hands together. And we're going to do a full body tapping. Helps to release stagnation, helps to unblock energy. If you have any blocked energy in your joints or any stagnation, or also helps to improve circulation. So it's great for the morning practice, so it's great to do every day. And we're going to gently tap on the forehead and the temples, the center of the cheeks, the nose, the lips and the mouth, and the jawline. Then we're going to tap the head. Moving from the hairline down towards the neck. So always moving from front to back. Remind yourself to cover behind the ears. Very good. Shake loose. We're going to tap the neck with the open palm. Same on the other side. Good, back of the shoulder. Same on the other side. Tap in the muscle a little bit on the shoulder joint. Relax. Lightly with the fingertips, we're going to tap the center of the chest, coming down to the sternum. Good. And then make your hands into loose fist. Knock under the collarbone. This is where the lung meridian makes its way out. Traveling down your arms. So this is a good area to target if you want to breathe better. If you want to stimulate and tonify your lungs. Good. We continue, knock on your ribs. This kind of gentle vibration helps to stimulate the liver, the spleen and the stomach located in this area. Good. And then three times down towards the hip bone. Shake loose. Bring your attention to your lower back. I like to start with an open palm, direct massage, to stimulate the points to activate the kidney chi. And then going down the back of the legs. All the way, come back up, tap. And once more. Stand back up. Now targeting the side of the legs. If you notice, I reduced the pressure, the effort a little bit. So going easy on the wrist. And then go ahead and tap the knee and all the way down to the bottom. Good, shake loose, and of course, down the arm, three times, just like we did to the legs, and then the back of the arm, the lateral side. Same on the other side. Come back up. Relax, bring your feet parallel. And we're going to raise up on our toes and shake loose. 
to release all the stagnation, to loosen up. A couple of those at your own pace. And see if you can really feel a vibration traveling through your muscles, through your fascia, through your internal organs, and through your bones. It's called shake of the chi. Good, feels good. Last one. I take a moment here to spend a few seconds in stillness, simply observing and noticing how you feel. What exactly changed in your body? Now bring your feet together and finish your practice. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this was useful. If you enjoyed this video, support the channel, subscribe so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you'd like to join me live every Sunday on Zoom, you can join my membership site. You have all the information in the description below. Until that time, I wish you great health, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.